Hey guys, it's Donna, and today I have an October Stitch Fix. So this might actually be my second Stitch Fix this month, but I'm glad they were able to send me one so quickly since my last one. Um, if you didn't see my last video, I'll leave a link above, but I mentioned in there that I was due for my annual styling pass. So if you're new to Stitch Fix, what does that mean? Normally the styling fee each box is $20 and then they apply that to anything you purchase in your box. So you really aren't out that amount of money. But by invitation only, Stitch Fix does send out annual passes to certain members. And I was invited last year to join. It basically means that you pay $49 up front. They then credit you back $49, which is really cool to use on anything you purchase in your boxes. And then you have a full year of free styling fees. So I don't have to pay styling fees on my boxes. So if you ever get invited to the annual styling pass, Make sure you take advantage of that. You're not out any money. As long as you're buying something, you will get the use out of that $49. So I think it's really cool. But my last video, I mentioned I had enough credits in my account to cover the $49 styling fee, <laughs> but I was worried about buying things. So I extended my checkout time. So I didn't realize you could extend your Stitch Fix. Um, I didn't realize you could extend your checkout time so far out. So I actually bumped it out a few weeks. So I was holding onto my box because I wanted to get that credit back to purchase the whole box. So I did end up buying all five items in my last box. Love them. This is one of the tops. I've worn them all quite a few times since then. But when I checked out, they also gave me an option to get another box within a week. So I was like, yes, let's do that. So I was really surprised how quickly this came. Okay, that was a lot of information, right? <laughs> so um, Stitch Fix is one of my favorite styling services. I've been doing it for over a year now. Um, if you are new to Stitch Fix, I do have a link below in the description that will give you $25 off of your first box. That covers your styling fee and then $25 towards something in your box. So you're out no money, there's no risk to you. So give it a try, I'll leave that link below. Once in a blue moon, they will give me a better offer, like $75 off, $100 off. I just haven't gotten one in a while, but when I do, I do share that on my Instagram, which I will also leave my link above somewhere or below, um, so you can also follow me there as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm really curious to see. I loved my last box. Now, I have had a new stylist the last couple of boxes, but she's been doing a good job, so I'm not going to complain about that. I did love my other stylist before that, um, but this one's doing a good job. Um, so let's see if I have the same stylist this time and how she did. So it was a five for five box last time. It was a nice variety of things. I ended up with a pair of jeggings, um, some sweaters, um, also a really nice cardigan, and I've worn most of those items, like I said, a few times. Um, Stitch Fix also gives you an envelope um, with a free label that you can ship everything back that you're deciding not to keep, um, but you might love everything like I did. <laughs> All right, let's pull her out and see. Oh, that's pretty. So they also have started something new called a, um, a sneak peek or a preview where you can go in and see the items that they've selected for you, which is normally more than the five standard items. And then you can pick what you want them to send you and what you don't. This time, this preview, I liked some of the items, not all the items. So I think there's only three that I decided to pick. So there's two items in here that I don't know about. Um, and I don't usually peek. I was kind of I debated whether I liked that service or not because I do like the surprise element of my boxes, um, but it's also kind of nice because then you are guaranteed that you like something that they're sending you. Um, so like I said, I know three items. I just don't know two of them, so we'll see. But I do like the colors in there. They're really nice in line with fall. All right, they also give you an invoice here that we're gonna save for the end. But I should have a styling note in here that will tell us what the stylist was thinking. They give you nice um, outfit ideas as well, um, but I don't want to peek at that just yet. Okay. Yay, yay, it's fix day, Donna. <laughs> Hope your day is going great, and this fix only makes it more so. I love the last fixes unbox video, and I am so glad you loved all five pieces. They all looked wonderful on you, especially that floral top. I saw your note from the preview that you were looking for a pair of dress pants, but unfortunately I was not able to find you the perfect pair for this fix. Oh, that's a bummer. But I will keep looking for the next fix. I have two pairs of the Market and Spruce khaki pants and wear them religiously to work. And I wish I had bought some more. I need to go back online and see. You can also shop on the Stitch Fix store. Um, so I need to go see if I can find some more because I get my wear out of those. Since I sent jeans the last time, I focused on more lightweight long sleeves tops that will be perfect for fall. I found you Black Threads Forethought, a tunic top that is super cozy and will pair with any bottoms from jeans to leggings for comfy all day wear. And the Tulip Hem gives it a perfect trendy flair. Enjoy these tops and I'm so sorry I couldn't find you those perfect dress pants. XO Natasha. 
That's okay, Natasha, maybe next time. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open up and see what these look like. You guys have to pardon me. I probably sound kind of hoarse a little bit. I've been getting over a cold, unfortunately. Kyla's in kindergarten this year and she's bringing home everything. I think we've just been rotating it for the last few months. <laughs> so just not fun. And nowadays when you cough in public, everybody like runs and screams. Um, but trust me, we don't have it. Um, it is just a cold, but anyway. All right, I already like what I'm seeing. This is really cute. So this is by Pink Clover. It's one of my favorite brands with Stitch Fix. Um, that's adorable. It has like really pretty purple color here, blue and gray. And I love the detail on the buttons right there on the sleeve. I think that is so cute. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. All right, this next one is also by Pink Clover. Oh, it's cute too. It's a really cute. Now, you guys have seen some of my recent videos um, and this color hasn't looked so nice on me, but I like the style of this and this one I might like. So this has these cute buttons again up here on the shoulder area and it's a really nice like lightweight sweater material and look at the cute cuff on there though. It has like a rolled cuff. So I think this one might be okay. So we'll see. I'm gonna pair that with maybe some black leggings or something like that. See some purple. Oh, this is cute too. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is gonna be bad. All right, here's some Market and Spruce. Um, this is a perfect color for me. Love this purple color. I love that, but look at the cute cowl neck. I can't do turtlenecks, it just irritates me, but these cowl necks are really cute on me, I think, um, and they don't irritate me as bad, and I love the little drawstrings here, so that is cute. Oh, and I was looking to see, there is a thumb hole, so I'm gonna love that too. All right. Oh, I like that color. So this one is, what brand is this? Market and Spruce, love that color. I don't have much in that color and I love the stripes. Um, I did keep a hoodie in my last box. Um, I don't remember if it was Market and Spruce or not, but it was blue stripes and it's very comfortable. And this kind of reminds me of that, just the really pretty tealy green color. It does have that nice hood on there. So I like that too. All right, this is gonna be hard to pick, Natasha. I don't know what to do here. I'm gonna have too many things that I like. All right, and then there's a black basic top. Um, I don't know. This one, maybe not. This is kind of underwhelming. I do like the, all right, I'm struggling here. I do like the hem detail here. I hope that picks up on the camera. So it's got some different angles here on the hem that make it unique. So I think that that is cute. It does have a nice thick cuff at the bottom. Um, so I don't know. We'll have to get it on to see. So hang tight. We're going to try everything on and then we'll get together at the end and take a look at the prices. So hang on. I love this top. <laughs> so this is so me like wrapped up into a shirt um, and it's especially amazing because it has the purple on it. I just think it's very slimming though. I love where the stripes are hitting. Um, I love the color blocking as well and I also love the details. I love the buttons here. I don't know if there's anything about the shirt I don't love. I even love where it hits on my sleeve. It is at like a three quarter length which I think is really nice especially right now in fall because it's transitioning. We had a 40 degree weather day last Friday, and then today we have like 75 degrees. So we have a lot of transition right now. So it would be nice to have some cute fall lightweight shirts. It's very thin. Um, I just think this is adorable. I don't know, unless you guys say otherwise, I think this is gonna have to be a keeper. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think at the bottom uh, in the comments, and let me get the next outfit on. Okay, so next top, I have some mixed feelings. No surprise there, right? Love the color combination. I really love the upper part of this. It's this bottom part I'm not sure about. So it has to be worn long, I think, because of where this kangaroo pouch is. Um, if I bunch it up, it's kind of odd because the kangaroo pouch just flops right there. So I feel like it has to be long. But then I have a problem because of where these stripes are. They make me look really hippie. I'm already hippie and I don't need that extra help with it. Um, I do love how the stripes line up with the top and the sleeves. I think that's a great design feature. It also has thumb holes, which I think is lovely. Apparently everybody loves thumb holes nowadays, right? Um, so I don't know, this is the only part I'm not sure about. Now if I tuck it under, let's see if we can put that excess under. Okay, that's not too bad. Actually, I could do it that way. I just don't understand the length of that. I mean, if it had been shorter, it would be a win. Like, I love that look. I think that's great. I'm not sure if this extra fabric is bunchy on my waist though. I can't tell in the camera here, but I think that's cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? It does have the cute little hood in the back. 
So I do like that. I don't ever put the hood up though, practically. <laughs> Does anybody put the hood up on their outfits? I guess if it's really cold outside, I would. Um, so it's really cute. Would it be okay if I just tucked it under? I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you buy it even if you had to tuck the whole half of the bottom of the shirt under? And it's staying in place, it's not really moving anywhere. So I don't know, I might be okay with this top too. So let me know in the comments and let me get the next top on. Okay, third top. I love this top too. Mm, my stylist is doing too good. I'm gonna end up spending too much money because I don't have a lot of credits right now. If you guys use my link below though, it'll give me some credits. Oh, if you've never used Stitch Fix, make sure you do that. So here is the third top. I love this top too. It's like a perfect color. I love this mixture of purple and like it's a deeper tone, so it's perfect for fall. It's got my thumb holes, which I love. So when I was putting this on though, I noticed a zipper, which is crazy on my sleeve. I have never seen a top like this. So I guess it's meant more for athletic wear, which I get, but this is very functional for me. I carry a very small purse. And so a lot of times when we go to things like the fair or like recently the pumpkin patch, I don't even carry my purse. I just shove things in my husband's pockets and in my pockets. I just don't like to tote things around. This has a little pocket on the sleeve that's just big enough that I could put cash in here, my key, I could put a card in here. It is definitely big enough for just a few items, chapstick, whatever. I think that's amazing and it's very warm and comfortable. I love this neck here. I think it's really cute and adds a nice little style element to it. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think this is really cute. I think it fits very nicely. I like the tailoring here on the side, so it's a little bit more fitted. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to help me decide on this box because it's getting tough. So, all right, we've got one more top, hang on. Okay, so this is actually the fourth top. We do have one more after this, but I don't know. We're back to that kind of drabby beigey color that I know all of you don't like on me. Um, it's a very nice sweater though, if it was just in a different color. Um, I like the sleeve length. I love the button details up top here. I think that's cute. Um, and the material is very nice. Like I feel like it's a very soft um, cotton feel, thicker. It's not quite a heavy sweater, but it's an in-between, a lightweight, thin sweater. It's cute. I think it'd be nice with, for work or even with jeans. The length is okay. I'm just not in love with the color, so it's kind of hard for me to love this top. I don't know, what do you guys think? It is a nice fall color. I just, maybe with my skin tone, it just doesn't make me happy. I don't know. Okay, let's try on that last top. Hang on. Okay, so last top, and again, I'm kind of underwhelmed by this one. Oh my goodness, with the thumb holes. I didn't even see that till just now. So this one has thumb holes too. Um, it does have that cute scallopy design at the bottom. I don't know. This is more like a loungewear shirt for me. I just don't think it's probably going to be worth the cost of it. Um, I don't know. I don't wear black a lot. It just doesn't make me happy. I don't know. It is a nice material, though. It's very soft. Um, you can tell the quality is there as well. Um, I don't know. Just And again, maybe this scallop design makes me a little hippier than what I actually am. I don't know, the length is really long too. So there's no way to really bring it up without it looking weird with a lot of bunchy material here. So I don't know, last two tops, not so much. First three, love. Okay, let's get together to look at all the prices. And I also wanna hear what you guys have to think in the comments below, so hang on. So one thing I forgot to mention is that if you buy everything in the box, you do get a 25% off discount. So that does pay off sometimes. It did last month. So even if there's maybe one item that you're not totally in love with, make sure you do your math because sometimes it pays to keep the item <laughs> because you get more off with the 25% off if you guys are following me. Okay, so far I do like the prices as I'm glancing through here. So let's see. So I went ahead and kept this top on here um, with the stripes that I love so much. Okay, so this one is the Pink Clover Lillian Button Raglan Sleeve Shirt in light gray. And this one's only $38. Okay, sold. This one is coming home with me. I am keeping this one. What do you guys think? I don't know if I care this time because I really love this top. All right, what else do we have in here? So we have this. I believe this one was Market and Spruce. So this one's cute. This is Market and Spruce Brenna Color Black Hooded Top in Mint. This one's $58, so that one I'm not sure about. I loved it, but it had to be altered. I had to tuck the bottom in, so is that worth it for $58? I don't know, let me know. I do love that top though part. Um, so Natasha, if you are watching this time, maybe you can give that feedback to Market and Spruce that they shouldn't make it so long. Um, otherwise, I probably would keep it, but let me know what you think. Okay. This purple top, I really loved this one. This is Market and Spruce Active, so it is active wear. Lola Crow Neck neck. Lola cowl neck 
the words cut off, something in purple, and this is $48. No, $48, but I do think I would wear it a lot and I could wear it as active wear as well. It is made of that nice moisture material that helps you not sweat as bad. So, okay, I might keep that one too. We'll see. All right, the last one, the black top. Um, this one is Threads for Thought. Parse Collie, you guys probably have a blast listening to me pronounce these. Parse Collie Feather Fleece Top in Black. This one's $58. I'm already gonna pass on that one. I just don't feel like I need that in my wardrobe. And then last but not least is the Staccato Carson Crew Neck Button Detail Top in Beige. And this one's $48, which is a great price for a nice sweater. Maybe if it's in a different color, maybe I should keep it if I can exchange it for a different color. I know you can exchange sizes. I'm not sure about color though. Um, so I don't know. We'll have to see about that. If it was a different color, should I keep it? Let me know below. Don't forget, I do have the $25 off. If you click the link below in the description, that will give you basically your first box for free that you can try some things on, see if you like anything, if you want to buy it. If not, you send it back, no risk. All right, that's all I've got for you guys today. Make sure you like the video and always subscribe and click the bell so you see all the videos when they come out. All right, until next time, guys. Happy styling.